Recent Connection utilizes interactive connection modeling and visualization, including 2D and 3D views for the creation of a variety of steel connections. Model connections with a robust library of steel connections for U.S. and Canadian codes, including shear, moment, brace, and base plate connections. So let's go ahead and get started. Opening a new model, we have the option to open the Project Settings window. Our model settings window is similar to what you would see in Risa Floor and Risa 3D. In the first tab here, you can enter your project information. In the solution tab, you can set the reference codes and other design considerations. Then you can choose to save these as your defaults. Next is the connection selection. On the left hand side is the module window. So we can go through the drop down menu and choose a connection. You can also choose Detail View to see a 3D preview window of the connection selected. Now in our model view, let's explore the RISA connection interface. Here on the right hand side is the Project Explorer and the connection properties. Project Explorer allows you to have multiple connection designs in a single project. So you could create all of your moment, base, and shear connections for a building project and they would all be housed in a single model file. When using the director function from Risa 3D or Risa Floor, all of those assigned connections would show up here in the Explorer as well. The title of the connection has the name, Unity check value, and a pass slash fail label. Below in the properties window, this is where the users can edit the connection properties, such as the loading and member section shapes, which get pulled from the program shape database. You can also edit the assembly dimensions and welds or bolting for the connection. The editable properties available will change based on the connection type chosen. The connection view on the left hand side gives users the ability to evaluate a 2D or 3D view of the connection as well as the detailed limit state reports. The graphical view will automatically update based on the properties set in the property window. See if I change the column section shape to a W18 and click OK. Look, the connection view has auto updated. But we can also select members in the 3D view and this will select the property back in the menu on the right. We have three tabs in the left hand toolbar. We are currently in 3D. In this view is a 3D model of the connection which I can freely rotate with my mouse or use the view angle in the top ribbon. Next is the 2D view. See the above display ribbon has been updated with additional options for this view. You can choose to show dimensions, grids, bolts. The 2D view tabs also navigate to the different views of the connection. You can export these 2D views to a DXF file to jumpstart your project drawings. Like we selected members before in the 3D view, here in the 2D view, we can also select dimensions and edit them in the properties. Lastly is the report section. This is the detailed limit state reports you may be familiar with in RISA 3D and other RISA products. Click to expand each section on the summary tab or in the components section. Each report shows the equation, input values, as well as the associated design code slash reference. Now we have a single connection model for this project, but let's build a project with several connections. In the home ribbon, we can select new connection. This opens up our connection window again to choose a new connection type. We also have the clone connection tool. Let's say we have the same connection which we have already built, but maybe just slightly different loads. I can clone this connection and see here in the Explorer, now it's visible. At this point, we reviewed the basic model setup and tools in Risa Connection. For more information on other topics, please visit our website, risa.com.